Maven bringing you a fantastically long night of Pro League. This is the final game. TCM and Denial, another game five. We saw it in the TK versus Rise matchup. That went to around 11. Yep. OG and Orbit and Envy versus FaZe, both going to game four. So far, we've had TK, OG, and FaZe taking those matches. And here we are entering our number seven. Slasher. Offense is going to be Denial. I'm going to kick it off. I'm going to watch Slasher for a second. He's going to have the snipe. Probably gonna check the cross here to school. From Looks the like rock he's actually man. kind of watching mid street, see if he's able to get eyes on anyone. Doesn't look like he's gonna get vision on anything. And uh, pretty pretty spread out right now. Looks like they're looking for the first pick. One player on defense gets forward. That's gonna be Aches, who's pretty aggressive. He saw a player in window. He's wisely gonna back away. Temp Still just saw a slide. Pat Pat actually just ran about a hundred meters away. He was very scared. Hook is uh, getting a little aggressive here. We might have our first push. Stun is going to connect on two players. And he's going to back up, calls it out. But Ace is going to clean up replays, who is trying to pinch in. So now Hook in a one on two inside the pit. Gets one, gets out with his life. Big kill here is going to keep them in the game. But Slasher, still without a ASM one, still without a bow, is going to have a really tough time with the sniper. Or is he? Slasher, he gets the one, two versus two. And they're rotating Watching this that. all the way to B, yeah, man. They're, they're wrapping all the way to B. And I think it's, I thought Ix might have saw one cross, but with the COD vision, it was difficult to tell if he actually got eyes on it. He definitely, well, he got the call out now. They're going to be wrapping forward. They're trying to get bombed down. They don't have a lot of time. If they can stop the plant, they got this. Hook is at about 90%, gets it down. Packets one, though, flying in. Hook, and a one versus two. He is going to dip out. We'll see if somebody sticks the bomb right away. No one diving out yet. They're going for the it. kill. He's still alive. He's so tagged up. He's Ooh. not going to make it out of there. And Jurd and Aix able to close it out. They will take round number one. Aix able to pick up two big kills. Absolutely. He's also going for that defuse. So a nice start as he takes the bomb into the lockers. Fantastic beginning here for TCM. They shut down the first blood on replays from there. They held strong. Good attempt, though, by Slasher and Hook. Hook almost gets away. I thought somebody was going to stick it pretty much immediately for TCM. They play it out. They play it for the kill. Now, let's see if anyone gets aggressive. Doesn't look like anyone's going to be pushing here on defense. And this is kind of what we saw from the other side. Pretty slow play. Slasher able to get a snipe there. Got a snipe in the first round as well. Ooh, and he's Four got three Jordan advantage Jordan right folks. now for Denial. Aix challenges one instead of blue. He's not able to pick that up. Good nade from TP takes out Hook, but the trade comes through. So still a two on three in favor of Denial. And Slasher is just continuing to run around with his sniper rifle. Looking the wrong way, though. TP is right behind him. He's rotated, and now he's got replays dead to rights. Two on two. Nice cover from Jurd, and this is another round for TCM, which should have been all denial unless Temp plays this perfectly. Temp in the one versus two. He's got two players just chasing him. He hears him soaring. Can he get one hit markers for days? Catches uh -oh. the player. He knows the other one's weak. He's going to challenge, though. Gets caught reloading. That almost worked out for Jurd, no! but able to get it. Jurd had to have been red there. Not a lot he could do. I actually like the fact that he challenges that. Catches him reloading. Just not able to hit the shots. Great job going prone. Dodging that challenge is Temp. Excellent job. That was a huge round for Temp. Three kills in it. A 1v2 clutch. We'll keep Denial tied up. Let's start things off with Temp here on the attack. All right, and it's Temp really leading the way right now. Three and one. Replays yet to get on the board. I told you it was going to be back. I gu I'm guaranteeing round 11. 40, oh, yeah. 40, 40 Colombian pesos on the line right now. Take our bet. We dare you. <laughs> I was getting uh, still eyes with Temp. He saw one inside of school. Not a lot he can do to challenge that with an ASM1. Uh, one player moved up in the garage. That's going to be Hook. He's got Jurd kind of playing front wall in steps here. That may be the first engagement we see if Hook decides to get forward. And Jurd was just spotted. So Hook not being drawn out. But you see the rotation coming from the stairs. Here comes the challenge from Temp. 
my vision from Hook's point of view is just hilarious. There is no one in this game that has moved more than Jerd. Jerd was jumping, dashing, sliding that entire time while everyone else stood around. TP finds first blood on replays. The flank shut down well. And Hook was just called out. Two players spotted middle. Hook's seen again. The bomb is picked up, but Slasher pun is punished immediately. Snipes coming in from Eggs. Let's go over to the man. Can he hit his third shot? He will. Oh my god, Eggs just goes wild. Gets three. And honestly, he was doing great in Riot as well. He had a lot of big snipes in that one. It was on point. Let's see if we get to see a couple of these or if we only see the final one. Eggs, he, there's one. And here comes, this is actually the third that he's able to get. The sniper feeling great for Eggs right now. Nice shots from Patrick Price. That was perfect precision there. Stopped Slasher, stopped Hook, stopped everybody from touching that bomb. And now he's keeping the sniper out, not putting it away here off the break. Let's see if he can win the challenge versus Slasher. X saw one cross. It was Slasher. There he checked the window. Nice sniper gets a hit marker. I think it was a temp sniping actually in the back. That was a Slasher who was sniping from window. But I, I'm he not jumped sure what out of window. I thought I, I thought I saw another shot come out, but he, I believe, got the hit marker on Slasher as he came out. Tried to hit a second shot, wasn't able to do it. But it looks like we are going to have a B push. You have TP, Jerd, getting forward. Jerd tossing some nades to back up anyone that might be playing close. There's nobody home. You have a pretty passive spread on defense right now from the but Slasher's still going to get caught. I, we got to go to X. I mean, he's going nuts. He's already got two snipes right now. Or, sorry, he's on a four streak. He's had four snipes in the past two rounds. He's just challenging everything with his snipe. Eventually, it's going to be Tempto that gets the two piece. He got All three. of a sudden, Moose by himself in a 1v2 here, Chris. 35 seconds on the clock. He's got the bomb. He got tagged up, though, as soon as he crossed steps. Temp again keeping denial in this game. This is his second three kill round to keep them in it. He stopped Aches from sniping. He picked up the first kill and a third before being cleaned up. And in the end, it is replays with the easy shots. Moose forced to go for the plant is punished. Tim's been the man in lockers. Uh, keep an eye on him on defense. All right, here we go. Round five. Who are you kicking things off with, Chris? Aches put away the snipe. I'm sad. No, he didn't. Oh, he switched it back. I'm, I'm sticking with Aches then. And he saw one immediately, not able to react in time, though, to get the player dashing into post. So he's checking back alley, see if anyone's getting aggressive on A. He might see Temp in just a second had he waited any longer. It's going to be him. Moose really working the defense of A right now. And you can see just a box set up around the A plant for denial. That'll Ooh, definitely that be their focus. And Moose gets one with the nade. He tosses Second it. That thing right, he gets two with the nade. Nice stuff out of Moose. And he's going to challenge for it. He's going get good at three. Moose. Can he get the ace? There's one inside. Don't he saw it. him for just a second. Leave him the ace, for God's sake. They'll clean it up. They take the round. That was all. That was all Moose. They were all set up all around A. They didn't even have to worry about a retake. Just some clever nades there from Moose as he's able to pick up three. I'm enjoying this, man. The last three rounds have been so excited. You saw Denial Temp in round two. A 1v2 clutch. Round three, Aches with three snipes. Now round four and five. Incredible stuff here. That was a, a three kill round for Moose, who I'm going to start things off with on the attack. Here we go. Saw a big round. Coming out of Moose, looks like we're going to have a pretty aggressive B play. They, at least they're getting forward more quickly than they have been playing. A pretty passive four-man spread just waiting for a pick before they really get forward. But here they go. Grenade in from Jared. The UK guy is just getting it done with the nades right now. Unfortunately, that's Temp that can answer back. Hook gets one as well. Make it two for Ooh. Hook. There's so many grenade kills on the board right now. TP gets one as well. Can he get out, though? No. Last man alive. 3-3. Three, three. Round 11. Here we come. I, my throat's actually starting to hurt from talking so much. I'm sorry. Or it's just the fact that I'm desperately hungry. I, you know, I can't decide. It's, it's McDonald's or Taco Bell after this. I'm going to try and live healthy. Yeah. I uh, highly suggest not getting the new nacho thing that they offer you at Taco Bell. At Taco Bell? Not good? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten anything at Taco Bell. Stick to the cheese and go to the like, crunch. Change, honest, changes lives. Going into round seven, we are <laughs> all tied up. Looking through to see if anyone throws on more flak jackets. It looks like you're going to have no one running flak jacket. Danger close. Enabled on Moose. And that explains a lot of why Moose was able to pick up those two kills so effectively. And there's just been so many nade kills here. Replays. 
gets another. Hook goes in and challenges for two advantage. Aches and Moose going to be the last two up. Can Pat pull off a miracle? He's been hitting snipes. He saw a foot for just a second. Another kill comes in for Hook. It's going to be Aches in a 1v3, and he's 1v4. He's got nowhere to go. Knocked out there. And here we go. The action continues. This time, the lead belonging to your blue team. It's going to be Denial. All right, here we go. The attack, eight. Maven. And uh, if it keeps going the way it has, Chris, I'm going to say this round is going to be going to TCM. It's been so back and forth for this map, a little more defensive favored. That's where I think the shift is going to be now that I was able to pick up that offensive round. Aix, though, with the sniper, I was watching to see if he can get a pick A site quickly. There's one player playing passively inside of green. That's going to be replays. He has a little help kind of from mid street and hook. They're, they're in prime position to shut this down. They've already had one more rotate over. They've got three players, a fourth already Ooh. shifting focus as well. I feel like if they try to push this, they are going to get just slaughtered here. One tries to rotate behind. That was Jurid that tried to push through. TP answers back. Going to be a 3v3 here. They, I thought they were going to try and get the plan for just a second, but TP is going to bounce right back up. Waiting to see if someone pushes for green. Goes 180, picks up one, tries to 180 again and pick up TP or pick up Temp. And, oh, God, he was pre-firing that doorway and still going to lose the gunfight to the Battle of Temp. Aches all of a sudden. You know what? 1v4 last time, which he had to try and make it to him. Now it's going to be a 1 versus 2. I missed all that excitement. I was watching Aches get body shots. Oh, I was watching TP just float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Except that... Minus the sting. The second sting wasn't very effective. Because bees sting once and then they die. PDW. Let's go. Yo, that made he just changed. Sense. He like slasher just running away. Pumps Not him. able to get out of it. Four seconds left, and you'll see wisely. Smart play by Temp. You've got Temp just booking it across map. He's already halfway into garage. Frustrated eggs at the end of round number eight. Denial on match point will be on the attack next. Let's see if Denial can close it out. I wanted around 11. I felt around 11. It's coming. We'd have to have some pretty clutch there rounds here. Slash I think we'll be able to get the already. defense. Starts Aix things already off picks with the up snipe. a snipe. He tried to get a second one there. Hit marker again. Hit marker again. Someone clean up one of these kills. Aix is so pissed. And he gets cleaned up by a flank and hook. Aix is screaming. I guarantee if we were on the comms right now, he is losing his mind. And now replays, last man standing is going to watch as this will go to a round 10. Unless he clutches the 1v2. Moose and Jared left alive the, the boys from Europe running together. The Irishmen trailing behind the man from the UK. I go for the plant, but he's just going to chase him down. He's got time to work with. Jared's ready. There's someone staring at the window there. His plan uh -oh. not working really effectively at all. As the nade's coming in, he's tagged up. Replays has no plan except to hide in this bush. They'll never know he's in the bush. Oh, yeah. He, he actually tried to go Daisy on these guys, just hide a plant. <laughs> Did not prove to be all that well, effective. You don't really have too many escape routes there. <laughs> maybe these bushes will eat some of the bullets. Bro, maybe the tree branch will guard me. But they're able to pick him up. Here comes round 10. Can they push around 11? In my opinion, a lot of this comes down to the sniper of Aix. I'm standing it's been up. incredibly effective, or not really at all. He's gotten so many hit markers. He's 8-5. and five. He can at least have four or five more kills. Let's see what he can do. He bumps into a player. Misses, Misses the, cross, the cross, but he oh, spots he Slasher, Slasher in the window. Second. His timing was a little bit off there because of the bump, though. And Slasher is going to survive after being tagged up. So... Win here for Denial so far, but that was really dangerous off the start. Temp throwing grenades out, and you had about half a second left on the trophy system for Moose. Keeps him alive for a moment, but here comes TP now. Trade him back. Eggs oh is going to land the snipe. By Eggs. I didn't even think he had a chance on that one. Hits him just as he's going around. 3v2, make it 2v2. Slasher all alone, though. After that trade, TP was able to take out Hook, so it's TP and Eggs, the legendary duo up against Slasher. And they close it out.
Slasher, 40 seconds to work with. He's 3-8, and eight, not having a spectacular game right now. But he just has to stop the bomb from getting down. If they don't get forward quickly, it's going to be one of those positions where if he can just kill the bomb planter and get out, he might be able to take the round. Time is on his side, at least until that bomb gets down. I'm standing Teepee, up right now. Going for the plant. Can he catch him? He has an opportunity. He's got to get forward. He can catch it. He can catch it if he peeks. He peeks a second too late. It's going to be a one versus one. And X closes it uh, No, he, Yes, he does. Okay. Ooh. I got scared for a second. It's okay, man. I didn't know what happened. Guess what we got, baby? <laughs> Give me my 40 Colombian pesos. Everyone in the chat, I'm Pay Googling us. if there are, are 4,000 viewers. That's what's 4,000 times 40. I'm doing the math real quick. 4,000 times 40. Six. That is 160,000 Colombian pesos. Yes. Which is like $1.60. <laughs> Here we go. Round 11. We knew it was coming. Aches and Teep, the duo, doing it big. I'm watching Aches, man. He's had yeah. so many snipes throughout that one. He closed it out there. If Slasher was a split second earlier, though, he might have been able to get the kill and get out. Here comes the push, though. B-push. Full-on denial. B-push is failing. Big hold by Jerd there in the first hit engagement. Now you see the bomb carrier outside the wall. Replays trying to back up. This is a big start for TCM. Got that first kill. And the nice part, you know, they're playing defense. It's definitely a map that is going to favor the defensive side. Ix is ready to and sling this, these shots I, down. I don't though. know what, you, what your plan is here for your denial. I mean, you just have to kind of hope for a pick right now. It's going to be so hard to effectively push something down a man. Uh-oh. Replay's body shot. Hit markers, but no kill. Aix now with the second shot, calls it out. The rotation's going into B right now. They're trying to push in the back steps. Jared's gonna have his hand full, hands full in a second. He saw one, he has to know the push there. He's gonna ask for the rotation. Jared plays it brilliantly, gets tagged up, but fades him and TP there to get to him. They close it out. TCM was down, what, five, three? Yep. They come back to take it, six, five. There are so many Colombian pesos involved in this. Wow. And that was TP actually getting all three there. Him and Aches just go massive over the final couple of rounds. TP looked, I, I mean, I love TP. I think he's an amazing player, but at times just looked clueless. He looked lost in Riot. He wasn't checking his corners. He didn't see the bomb plant getting down behind him. We saw him in a couple 1v1s, 1v2s, where he just did not play it very wisely. Round 11, game five, though, when you need somebody to step it up. Three-piece. This was amazing, guys. The first loss for Denial, right? It is a loss, the first loss for Denial yep. and a much-needed win for TCM. They're now 2-2 two and two in the league. Back up to 500, puts them in the middle of the pack. Guys, we're going to take a quick look at some of our Vulcan numbers. Uh, Hook and Slasher. You know, pretty expensive coming in on the day, 1490, 1489. You saw replays down here at 1316, one of the best bets you could have had coming into things. But at the end of the day, it's TCM going the distance in a oh, matchup that, that awesome. all of us kind of expected to be a 3 0, a 3 1, Maeve. That was, that was amazing. Well, I, you know, I said to you, I think we were in commercial break, but I said I thought. When I first looked at it, I was like, I think this game has the most potential to go the distance. But then I like immediately was like, ah, oh, well, now I could just 3-0 them too. Right. But that that was the definition of going the distance, man. Ends up going to game five, round 11. I said to you, how many times tonight did I say, after that first debacle, that first series with mm -hmm. Rise and TK, that was just the messiest thing with all the lag outs and everything that was going on. Yeah, it's I gonna said happen. to you, Chris, you know we're going to be here for a game five, round 11, final series. And it's sure now. enough. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you guys are uh, going to enjoy the rest of your Thursday. It was a fantastic beginning of Wednesday with you, Maven. I'm now going to jump straight into the fourth day of this week, and uh, I will see you tomorrow for some more Pro hey, League uh, action. Chris, it's always a pleasure. Um, I'm going to make sure for now on, those of you, I, I work full time out here in Santa Monica, so I come in late when I have to cast. I'm going to ask to come in much later when I cast with you. Because every time I do, we end like an hour and a half, two hours later than the other guys. So Sleep's overrated, guys. That's why we game. We'll see you next time right here on MLG.TV slash ESR.